back to Dishonored. I'm Sarah. I'm Alfred. Yeah. We're in a slightly different place because we had a little false start there, but MBD. Don't worry about it. What does MBD mean? No big deal. Oh. It's short for non disclosure <laughs> agreement. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on. So I'm not allowed to get through that, right? I'm not allowed to. But rats are. Oh. Rats are not allowed. Oh. Rats are explicitly not allowed to get through that. But this guy is. What do you get electrocuted in someone else's body? Oh, you don't. Uh, how come? Well, because he has clearance. Hey, you and? don't look dope. So. Look, they're like, you look like shit, bro. Who's controlling the, um. Witchcraft. Oh, shit. Am I good? Someone there? Aw. Okay. Redo. Well, redo. I've just got to get a little further before I before I pop back into him, because this will kill me, so right? So where do you where do you go? I become a soul. No, no, no. Where does your body go? The body becomes a soul. So people just see you vanish? Yes, they see me vanish and become him. Do that. Oh, okay. But why didn't you alarm anyone then? Is no one looking? Is that what it is? Yes, I have to be out of people's line of sight. Oh, I see. Okay. So that thing, who is it manned by or is it just magic? Um. The electrocution thing. Yeah, the arc pylons and wall of lights are automated. Oh, okay, cool. Open the door. Close the door. Add a little too much to drink. Oh, let's get you down on this turlet. Oh, yeah. You know. Loot! Loot him! Check. All he had was a bullet on him. Oh, now I feel bad. Now I kind of want to. Now I want to kind of leave something for him. <laughs> <laughs> What's that video? Was it a Caleb City video where he, he's like playing a guy who robs a house and the Ooh, guy's just sleeping on a mattress? Do not go in there. <laughs> Mostly because there's a man who is unconscious down there. Do you know what I'm talking about, though? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Caleb's video. Okay. We just, like, he, he wakes up and he has an extra, like, shilling in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia Boyle's diary. I'm looking forward to the party tonight, despite the prospect of so many boorish men talking about their business failures. What I wouldn't give for a fine young musician in this horrible town. Someone who appreciates the harpsichord, for instance, and could write me a song. That's the voice I was looking for. I was about to do it if he did it. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those... The harpsichord. Oh, I wonder if he'd be my husband on Coronation Street. Rats. It's a white rat. Yum. My friend. I will store him in my pockets. In your cheeks. Yes. In my special rat sack that I keep in here. Ooh. Money. See, if I wanted to, I could actually start and end this mission. Um... Wait, 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 hold on. Hmm. Look at the floors around the bed. Oh, oh yeah. She getting it. Mm. She, she, she getting it with some young maidens. Yeah. Or unless these are just her clothes and she's kind of a slob. Well, she has maids, right? I guess so, yeah. We've seen them. She's got a foot bath. She smokes cigars. What a woman. <laughs> <laughs> really getting into this uh, this character here. This. Okay. Yeah, we're doing some detective work. Boil pocket watch. Oh, shit. I haven't had this out all game. Oh, there's almost nothing in here. Well, good. You kind of just forget about it, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's one of the unfortunate things. And, of... and that's you as in the collective. You, I'm not just... Shitting on you. Yeah. It's one of the unfortunate things about, um, like, having the radar not be on all the time and also not be a button. Because it has to take up my hand, I have to be actively hunting for things. And sometimes I just fucking forget to do that. Okay. What does Corvo look like right now? Well, if you look, so you can see that I'm, I'm crouching here and then I stand. And if I go up here, you can see the little symbol means that I, I have my head almost in my knees. <laughs> I'm becoming one with the rats. <laughs> I'm a carnivore. I'm Corvo the carnivore, little rat boy. 
Hit peek. Peek. So yeah, um, there are three boils around here. Lady Boyle. Yes, I'm aware of her name, sounding like the term for a pus-filled ulcer. Excuse me, sir. You described it in the grossest way. Yeah, it's part of my talent. I think I think our uh, our high school English teacher actually at one point didn't allow us to describe anything in terrible detail. Remember how she's like, <laughs> hey, no, ex no explaining how the tendons are ripping apart and stuff. Yeah. And like that's one of those things I feel like she would not allow. Yep. Oh Pus shit. Pus filled sack. Shit, shit. Oh, hold on, I've got something here. Sleep darts. Oh shit, they found the guy that, well, they found the lack of a guy, rather. Wait, poison? Sleep. All right. Hello. I'm, hold on, uh, there's no one behind this painting. Don't okay. look behind it or anything. Poke your head through the painting. <laughs> this gun. Yes, it's me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Look, look, they just had too much to drink. <laughs> I don't have enough poison darts for all of you. Or sleep darts, rather. Do you think they know that you're the imposter? <laughs> <laughs> there is one Corvo among us. I was hoping I could hide up there, but it's for naught. Miss Boyle, I saw him vent. <laughs> <laughs> this should absolutely be like a Dishonored style throat slit. So this thing, go ahead and pause it if you want. This is how uh, the river, this is that river crust, the weird thing that hangs out in the river and shoots at us. That's uh, how it reproduces and stuff. Are you being the wet bandit right now? <laughs> I noticed that you've been doing all the sinks. No, I've been trying to. Uh, I've been trying to drink out of them. Like I think Bioshock. Oh boy. Huh? Nope. There's no one here. Hurry, become a rat. It'll cost a lot of mana. Oh, do you only have that? Every, like, is that like a daily thing? Does that? How do you reload your? Oh, he's cold. Give him a hug. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Look at you, saving people. See, that guy's taking a break now. Um, Mana comes back with a little purple, or the blue potions. Okay, and how can you get those blue potions? They spawn randomly in the world. Ah, uh, can't buy them. Uh, I believe you can, but only back at base, or with the occasional rare shop. Why don't we stock up on some potions? Well, I've got nine of them, and I can only carry ten. Ah. Oh, that's exactly the type of bathtub I want for you. Claw-footed? Well, yeah. Like just oh, with a high back, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can, like, enjoy your time in there yeah. instead of feeling cramped. Being a colossus and fat, I have a lot of times finding uh, bathrooms in my size. It's like that scene from Elf where Buddy the Elf is, uh, like, standing over a shower. Boil war metal. So, yeah, they all actually took the name of one of the sister's husbands. What is this? Garden balcony. Behind cover, you won't be detected if you lean out to observe. Let's just nip this right in the bud. He was cold. He was. I had to give him a hug. Oh, wow. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. They just left him. <laughs> they really just left him out there. Like, he's getting cold and shit. Eh, he's not signing our paychecks anymore. <laughs> 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 We were paid in advance. That means she, we can go home. That's so cool, by the way. Look at that. And they've got little tapestries on them. Yeah, that's really... They're, are they types of, like, lanterns, I guess? Yeah, yeah, little floating lanterns. Oh, I really want to have a masquerade now. I'll be honest. Oh, there's more out here. Okay. I totally missed all those. I'll be honest. As a bodyguard, what the fuck do you do if the guy that you're protecting gets himself killed? I guess you didn't do a good job, huh? Well, like, no. He's like, no, 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 no. Don't stop me. This is what I'm doing, you know? I'm doing this because I want to. Oh, we could have gone in that way. That makes a lot more sense. I 
probably wouldn't agree to be a bodyguard to a fool. I mean, some people, like, you have to sign a waiver, like, hey, if this is your own fucking fault, you know, that's not on you. Co not coming back to me. Yeah. If someone's like, hey, I'm going to go drive drunk, don't follow me, and you're like, Okay. Well, what's your dad's experience with it? <laughs> <laughs> I know he wasn't a bodyguard, but he fits the bill, doesn't he? Yeah, he could have been a bodyguard. Let's see if we can talk to more people. Ramsey. Yes. Sing me a whale song. I've got to be honest, that hat is a really big flex. A little safety save there. The absolute talent you have to imagine for these people, or do you think they just have, like, their, I don't know... Costumeer? Costumeer. Make it for them. I, I imagine that it's a commissioning thing. This this whole chapter is just so beautiful. Yeah, like, this, this by the way, this is what Bioshock looks like. Are you sold on wanting to Let's Play it now? There's this weird Welcome thing that happens boils. when I see... Oh, here we go. Here's the third one. Here's a mystery. Are you perhaps with the Campbells? A cousin? Ooh, scary I'm ass. sure in a few drinks I'll uh, find funny. As I was saying, there's this weird thing that happens when I see decorations and stuff like this in the real life and in the real world and with games where I feel a sense of disgust for like blatant like misuse of your money, but also just I'm in awe because it's so pretty. Oh, here's the smoking room. God, look at this place. I, need a cigar. I can smell it in here. And they got cider. What I you saying, boy? Mission tonight. We must speak privately. You notice what this guy's mask is? Looks like a cat in a sack. It's a rat. <gasps> it's a rat. And that's how we tell that he's on our side. I'm a friend, friend. of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose. See, he's got the little tongue sticking out. And how to say this? Your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. Never ever hear of her again. Kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. So, so that's the trigger warning. That's the yeah. that's the issue. I'm a man of means. Well, uh, I'll, I won't harm her. I'll bring her to the you bring her to the cellar, and I'll keep her safe with me forever. He says. So, we can so, knock out Waverly Boyle. Who, who is he exactly? He's just some guy. Coughs as though seriously ill, I beg your pardon. Is he, does he have any, like... Is he in any way, like, with the cause you guys are with? No. He's just, he's just a some guy? He's just a completely guys, random guy. you guys just found him, or...? I tracked him down. I think I was given a tip about him, because there's a little thing for him. So, um, we have figured out that... How can they trust him? We can't. Okay, fair enough. We just need to get Lady Boyle off the, off the, off the top side. So, we figured out that this is Lady, uh, Lydia Boyle. I guess worst case scenario, like, if he, do, if he does turn out to be on her side, you could just kill them friend. both. Yeah, like, Corvo is pretty much a really solid thing. It's like, yeah, I gave you your chance. Now you have to... You know... Make your promise, make it good. So yeah, we have figured out who uh, our target is, and it's the one in the black clothes. And this is actually really cool. It's randomized each time, so you cannot just run to the lady in black and uh, gunner. Very cool. So are yes. you trying to pick out the oldest lady? Uh, no, they're triplets. Oh, I see. I am trying to pick out the one that is funding the Lord Regent and former spy master. And Remember? It's, it's ran. How rude. And yeah, it's, right. And it's random. Uh, who it is, or random what clothing that particular sister's in? Well, these are all triplets, and they wear identical clothing of black, white, and red. This time it's the one in black clothes. Okay, do they have any difference in personality? Um, I believe so, and there's a few other clues that you can pick up on, but I picked up enough, and then he's like, hey, you want Waverly Boyle? And I know who that is, thanks to the other things I picked up. So, I, so what you can do is just run to this woman, shoot her in the neck, if the mission, uh, if the mission updates, go to her and shoot her in the face. And if it doesn't end, then run to her. And she's funding what exactly? The spy master. 
spy master. The guy who really assassinated the Lord Regent and got, or uh, assassinated the Empress and got me in prison. Okay, so why is she funding him? They're in love. Oh. And he just wants power? Yeah. That's, it seems like the typical bad guy motive. It, you know, it's because it is. So let's see how I can go about this, because this is a weird thing where I have to get her somewhere else. And this this is almost new, you know? Yeah. It might take a few tries. You, have, you ever gone the, have you ever gone this path? I, don't I have never gotten this one for her. Oh, okay. I'm very excited. Yes. Well, I have done the <laughs> non-lethal. I'm morbidly excited. Yes, I've done the non-lethals for some of the others. So let's get her into this corner and choke her out. Ugh, it's all inside her head a little bit. Yeah, it's the mask. Yeah. And then I got to get her to the cellar. You know, this is a really bad scene. If someone just saw me like this, just... <laughs> the lady had one too many drinks, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what you got to do, right? Or or just accept your fate. Just lie down on the floor and allow yourself to die. So I might have to go back to this. She save. hit me first. Oh, God. <laughs> Oof. Oh, here we go. Why don't we just make a little distraction here? That's not bad, actually. Yeah, see? Oh, wait a second. Maybe it's uh -oh, bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, don't mind me just carrying your sister here. Huh. Hmm. 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 Huh. Well, uh, how about one of these? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, what's happening? He's blocking my magic. Oh, my God. That guy got eaten. The guy in the whale mask. No, not that guy. <laughs> he was such a dickhead. He was such a guy. Wait, wait, you're gonna shoot her. Guys, I'm carrying her. You're gonna, well, she's dead. Yep. All right, we're loading that save. <laughs> they shot through her to these, try to kill me. These fucking goons. Oh, uh, yeah. Just drink up. Devouring Swarm was actually hyper effective, so let's see if we can get that so going again. So what if we can trail her? Uh, oh, you saved here? Uh, I have another save before I actually okay. knocked her out. Okay, I was going to say you could trail her and try to get closer to her on her own closer to the cellar. Yes. How about we uh, just eliminate a few more things? What? What just happened? I don't know. Did you kill her? How about we load a save back here? Okay, yeah, so we gotta figure out where the cellar is. So why don't we just run there? Because we know where she is now. Do, 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 do. We can get her into here, maybe. Because possessing her actually wasn't too bad of an idea. No, yeah. Can you up your possession? Uh, it is at maximum. Can we look at it just one more time? Just to make yeah, sure. just gotta figure out the button. Okay. Um, uh, spirited will give me more mana. Because I just want to make sure we didn't lose it in one of our rotating saves. That's fair. That's fair. I, I do that quite often, so. I should probably take this off because I really shouldn't be swimming as much as I do. Uh, I have the upgrade for a keyhole peeping. That's kind of funny. Oh, I have breaking glass sound down. That's odd. You got the perp perk. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't done anything with these in a while. Falling star should definitely do that. Having your weapons, that doesn't slow me. Yeah, that should be good. Um, hmm. Got my tap shoes off. Mystical rat artifact. Okay. Um, possession is at maximum, yeah. It has a very high mana consumption. Now, can you... Here's the thing. Can you up your mana bar? Um, no. Uh, well, welcome to the party. Okay, well, how about we, how about we do one of these? Wasn't there someone there? No. Soon to be not. Just the piano. And the boat, uh, okay, the boat in the cellar is down here. Oh, man, we got to get her through a fucking long haul. What, you don't know that it was me? Oh, they don't know, well. Okay, some of them know. <laughs> Alright, you wanna try this one more time? No. 
Do you want to just ride with it for a second? And yeah, we'll just again? see where it goes. Alright, that would be like a really good move in um... Among Us. Just the, like, the big dramatic throat slit. <laughs> you get to be Corvo and Smash. Oh my god, Corvo and Smash <laughs> would be amazing. But the thing is, is you would have to have a first player Smash. First... So, sorry, like... First person Smash? First person Smash. I don't know, Corvo is a good enough design that I think it would still be pretty obvious who it is. Okay. Oh, we're here, huh? Well, how about we load? Wait, wait, no, 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 hold on. Go, let's go back. Okay. Can you just do me a favor and throw her body on the piano real quick? Okay. Never mind. What? I, I don't know. I guess I, it just wasn't doing what I was going to hope it was going to do. Were you going to hope that she was going to sexually lay across the piano? No, I was hoping it would do that. <laughs> oh, that it was. <laughs> 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 so I think that was actually the noise of me uh, of me getting discovered. Oh wow! Oh look at this okay. Fucking clock. Never... Holy shit! Wow. That is an impressive timepiece. I'll be honest. Wow. Ugh. Okay, listen. The interior decorating of the rich. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not gonna lie. Gotta be honest. <laughs> okay, so we're back here. I guess it's possible that I could run her over here. Get a sip to make myself look less suspicious. Got yourself a drink. What does getting yourself a drink do? I don't know. It doesn't appear to fill up my mana. Who brought him? Nowhere have my friends gone. So yeah, if you want, you can just throw on a grenade right here and clear out the boils in one. Smoke grenade. What'd you get? 20 bucks. Yeah. 20 coin monies. Going into Corvo's stash for a new what pair of cap shoes. <laughs> oh, let me get you a drink. It's tacky for a hostess to drink. Someone should tell Esma. <laughs> I can save your life if you'll just what listen. You mean you'll save my life? Someone wants you dead, but I can offer you a way out. Notice that <gasps> Corvo isn't lying to her. I do need her dead, Ooh. but I can also offer her a way out. Why? Who sent you? Very well. I, I have no wish to die, but I won't wait long. And if you're lying, I'm I totally forgot dead. that you could just talk to her. All right. <laughs> Isn't that fucking fantastic? Yeah. Do too. <laughs> this doesn't make me feel like morally bad because like do we actually know that she's a bad person uh, kinda I mean it's not like the other people who work with me are great yeah it's a very morally great kind of game yeah I kind of ooh. ooh nice Some sparkling button. hell yeah so yeah I'm um, talking to them can help you figure out uh Who's who in the in the gang? So, and I believe we figured out that the red one is Esma. Oh, I'm trespassing. Oh yeah, they they moved that aside, but they didn't actually make it not a trespassing. Uh, what can I get for you? I really, I got a drink. I Thanks. really wish um, that that little marker would happen for when I actually trespass by accident. <laughs> I've actually <laughs> on my campus, I've like gone into places I wasn't Rat. supposed to. Damn you. And I didn't figure it out until someone told me. All right, all right, all right. We've delivered her. Hey, Miss White. What else have you found out? Thanks for the tip off. She can tip me off anytime. All right, let's let's make one more little safety save. I think we're good from here on. Safety save. Somehow she looks even more mad. <laughs> Just disgruntled, you know? <laughs> wait, wait, did you have to do that? Yeah, because she was going to leave. Oh, what did she say? Enough of this nonsense. She didn't believe me. I don't know. She was able to go along with it up to a point. Oh, so you kind of have to choke her out eventually? Or, you know. You found her. Quickly, let's get her on board. Ugh. Yeah, right? At last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. <laughs> Look, he's even got special pillows for her. 
And a bottle of wine? And glasses? Oh man, we've done a bad thing. <laughs> I need to go wash my hands. Look, she's not dead. That's that's the important part, right? She's not dead. Clean hands. Eliminated. God, it's so creepy. <laughs> like this is one of those things where it's like I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, and you know what? This is one of those things where you would not want to wish it on your worst. We found the room. That's great. Yeah. Now let's just Holy scrub our hands with that. Yeah. Oh, hey, wow, hey. Of whale oil. If you didn't sell that woman to a creep, you would have never found all of this gold. Yeah. Ingots. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Sir, this is our home. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's why I apologized. You know, I'm in the wrong there. All right. Do a little top off. And I think Ooh, we're good to go. So yeah, um, isn't that so weird? And and now this this chapter just has a a long denouement. I, I would love to see. Okay, so in the second game, if they added something to where like Miss Boyle like, escaped or something, that that would have been like really cool. I guess I don't know, kind of like seeing where it where it followed up. I believe uh, what happened to her and her family is mentioned in a note. Is that so? Do you remember what it is? Um, after she went missing, they kind of began to grow apart and uh, all blame each other. Oh, check yeah. this out. Sounds like sounds like rich people. I can sign the guest book. <laughs> Montgomery Snow. Oh, Montgomery Shaw. Adele White. Uh, Byron Adderlice. Jane Blair. Jervil Crawford. Uh, Trish. Stephen Harding. Doctor Jack Ramsey. Lord Talmage. Nels Jeffries. Lord Timothy Brisby. Adam Pyle and Koro Atano. <gasps> that I signed with my own bastard. name. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like That's definitely something you would do. Like yeah, absolutely. It's very in character for me and Corvo, I think. Like, can you imagine that they that they okay, think everyone think about this. Your girlfriend goes missing. You go to the party where she was last seen. And someone says, "Yeah, there was a guy wearing that uh, that mask of a uh, uh, that crazed bloody murderer that's been running around the streets, cutting people's throats, working with gangsters, summoning rats. Yeah, someone had a mask that looked just like him. And you find out that someone executed this perfect, absolutely impossible heist of a of a human. He stole a woman, and then he didn't even leave a calling card, he but he signed his name. He signed his name in the guest book. And consider this as well." My wanted poster and the man of the mask's wanted posters are separate things. Corvo's wanted posters and the guy in the mask have different wanted posters because people don't know that they're the same guy. He's so chaotic. But then this guy shows up. This guy in the mask shows up and signs the name Corvo Watano. Like, I imagine what is going through the Lord Regent's head right now. Like, your girlfriend goes missing. Corvo Watano has signed the guest book at her last party. Corvo Tano escapes from jail. A, a a super criminal hits the streets a day afterwards. Oh, hey, check this out, by the way. Do you think it's like a, like, do you think that criminals have ever pretended to be other criminals? Or do you think it's like a criminal faux pas? I, I, I believe that they definitely have. That's why copycat killers are a thing. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so it might be if you come back earlier, but there's actually a thing where uh, you can... The, the lady whose invitation you stole, you can come back outside and see her like, I totally have an invitation. I'm on that list. Read it. And, and he's like, I, you don't have your invitation right now. Oh, that's so sad. Isn't it? on a really fun party. Yeah. Like, honestly, it is kind of a bitchin' party. I'll be honest. All right. Yeah, like, they got, like, a, they got, like, a wine fountain. Oh, man. Sparkling wine okay. fountain, no less. Whenever I go to a party and they're, like, Oh, man. Uh, my, my silent non-tap shoes are allow me to just sprint so quickly and so silently. They have like dry ice sherbet uh, drink. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And it's not all melty. Oh shit! Like you have someone. Oh, you got plagued. Caught 
the plague. Caught the plague. Yeah, yeah. When they when they have someone like refilling that, I know that it's a good party. Oh yeah. <laughs> I get excited about the. I want my own chocolate fountain, just so I can just at one point stick my whole head in there. I've had one actually at one of my birthday parties. Oh, that's so. Did you, did you did like your parents buy it or? They bought it. Go away. He doesn't live here anymore. Do they still have it? No. Uh, oh. dreary, 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 dreary. This is, uh, certainly cheerful. Excuse me. Actually, it's really pretty. From the party, Corvo. Hey, check it out. Is that what you dreamed of? All those Dante from Devil May Cry. A little bit. No, no, no. Which one is it? The second? DMC Devil, Devil May Cry? DMC Devil May Cry. Come on. The resemblance is there. It is. Man, I wish the rest of that game would have been cool. Yeah. So here he's just giving a little mid-mission, uh, uh, like, thing. So yeah, it's it's really a weird mission, because, like, you don't even need to kill or fight anyone. Like, you can just play that completely straight. Her fine clothes wear into tatters, and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Plenty of time for reflection. So he's like, are you a hero? I can't trust him. You can't love what you don't trust. That's the song the birdies sing when the weather turns cold and forces them out of the nice homes they built. Nice homes spoiled, spoiled and ruined, useless now. So the birdies hate the weather that betrayed them. They fly away to look for their new homes that aren't cold and dreary, dreary, dreary. I'm leaving too. My valet is packed. So dreary everywhere. I can't bear it anymore. Oh, is Granny Rags gone now? Oh, shit. I don't think, um, I might have mentioned this earlier, but I do not believe killing weepers adds up the score. Ugh. Is this Grandpa Rags? Oh. You wanted me to decide, you asked me to do it. There's a hole in the world. And a small handprint. Hmm. That is an awesome note. What does it mean? What the fuck? That actually spooked me. Where did you come from? She was under the covers, wasn't she? I don't know where she was. Maybe she was in between the beds? Freakish. Huh. Um, let's give the boys a snack. Nom, 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 nom. See, the rats don't actually carry the plague. It's from the plague carrying humans that they get the rats get it from. <laughs> oh man, what a twist. Uh, they seem to have finished their snacks, so let's uh, throw them another one so they don't Dessert! kill me. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a little gamey, boys. Uh, where's that last... Oh, it's all the way over there. Fuck that. Fuck. That was really stupid. I meant to do one of those, like, cool mid-air jumps. But yeah, so, like, a big chunk of this mission is just the denouement, you know? Like, the falling action is, is so much of it. So yeah, unknown assailant. We don't know who this guy is. But he kidnapped Sokolov. We don't know where the fuck Sokolov went. And he has no neck. Oh shit. Oh shit. <gasps> You're inside of your enemy. Yep, I've become the piranha. And you can breathe underwater now. Yeah, pretty useful. I even got a little achievement for it. It says, alive without breath. So I can lay low as a prana. How long? Uh, until the possess wears off. And I have the upgraded possess. I'm trying to avoid the spotlights, although I guess it doesn't matter because what are they gonna do? Like, be like, oh, that's weird, it's prana. So yeah, I guess I'll just hide, right? Uh oh. All right. Now I'm drowning, but. Fuck. Weak ass lungs, Corvo. Well, I, I literally just unequipped the thing that gives me stronger lungs. Oh no. And yeah, now I've just got to get out of here, which is proving to be a little more problematic than I anticipated. This is my this is my rune that slaps my hand every time I go for a cigarette. Oh wow. Yeah, see, this isn't going well. It's primarily because of my big dumb fuck up and I jumped down too early, but Sammy, get me the fuck out of here. Actually, before we go, let's check and see what I got. Rat scent? Rats only attack you when you walk closer. That's not bad to have. 
Um, I can take this off. Raven is good. I don't really like using the adrenaline stuff. Throw in hand. Yeah, rat scent. So now the rats won't hunt me. And I have three runes, and I could pick up any one of these. Uh, do you want to get dark vision? I know you're talking about it. Um, I could. I could also get wind blast. You could double down on something else. I really want to double down on either agility or blink. Um, because okay. normally I would because these are boring abilities, but they're really useful. I think you should do blink. Okay. Blink. All right. See, now, Blink, Possession, Devouring Swarm are all upgraded. We have the first level of bend time and agility. We're really min-maxed. <laughs> Sammy, get me out of here, boy. I hope you enjoyed your evening, hey, sir. This is a really suave-looking motherfucker. Look at him. Yeah. He's got, like, that salt and pepper look. Yeah, he really does. He's an old sea dog, you know? All Th right. That man's a sea fox. Yeah. So, I only killed three people. And that whole thing. And I think those were all the weepers that I killed at the very end. Good job. Yeah. Isn't that kind of crazy? I signed the ledger. I defeated Lord Sean a jewel. I uh, dropped Lord Brisby. Wait, uh, I dropped uh, Boyle off to Lord Brisby. What's uh, what's what's that at the end? Uh, ghost? Oh, oh, okay. That's if you never get detected. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, you are also a ghost. No, no. I thought it was maybe like, you saw the ghost in this mission. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can find... Oh, the final move. Lord Regent is as vulnerable as he has ever been. Time to make preparations to strike directly. So we've gotten rid of his theocracy, his money, his girlfriend, and his scientist. And now, we'll castrate him. Oh, wait until you see what we do to him. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Think about how bad all of the ironic that, deaths have been. That laugh was diabolical. Oh, wait until you see. Uh, wait, doesn't, didn't chair. Lady Boyle, didn't she run the brothel, I the too? Cellar. Um, another woman no, did, yeah, but I think Lady finish. Boyle... Oh, fuck, Lady Boyle did something. But yeah, we, we've... Something ironic to what happens to her, I think. Yeah. But yeah, we've got uh, his leverage out from under him, because he doesn't have Emily anymore. All right, I'm going to stock up some shenanigans at uh, Piero, and then I'm gonna, I guess that'll be it, right? I read that. Piero, where are you at, boy? Here he is. Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything, practically. All right. No, I want you to make things for me impractically. <laughs> That's a, a, Corvo is that kind of man. Yeah. Um. Ooh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I like That's that. good. Um, bulk capacity. And I've still got a, quite a bit of money, so I may as well upgrade my pistol. Oh yeah, and I can keep going with the pistol now. Yeah. Yeah. Double down. Because the pistol is really solid whenever I'm just, like, rumbling with a guy. All right. Cool. I've got an upgraded gun. Got new tap shoes. Do you only tap when you want them to? They're really yeah. advanced. <laughs> Adaptive tapping. <laughs> um, check this out. <laughs> oh, that's so cute oh uh, isn't that great yeah she even put the rats in there <laughs> look at them so you might be able to tell but this is what the picture of me in the outro is based off of because that's why the rats have little glowing red eyes oh i love that <laughs> that's so cute you notice that she couldn't draw the finer points of the mask so she just made it a skull that's really cool. Yeah. Also, notice she's like eight or something, but she's still drawing her E's backwards. Yeah, it's a little weird because she strikes me as like the way she's drawn. She's like at least 11. Check this out, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> no, daughter of, no daughter of mine hates rats. All right. Uh, yeah, that's dishonored, everyone. Oh, do you want to do the outro? I've been Sarah. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Dishonored. Yeah. Uh, thanks for coming by. We'll see you next time for the final battle.
Bye. Bye. Get rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of troll we can get ourselves into.